Over in Mukunji, it was a battle of the unbeaten. The two only undefeated teams left in the district in Nazareth and Emmaus. Not only are they both 6-0 to start the year, they are also two programs with first-year head coaches. JT Purcell, the longtime girls volleyball head coach for the Blue Eagles, took over the pro boys program this season. As for Emmaus, it's John Wilson now leading the charge for the Green Hornets, who have yet to drop a set here in 2024. Nazareth was hoping to change that last night. The last time Nazareth and Emmaus met was in last season's District 11 semifinal, where Emmaus took a 3-1 to one set victory over the Blue Eagles. While the first set started with a lot of errors, both teams would eventually settle in and one more than the other as Emmaus saw four kills from Dimitri Harris. The Blue Eagles would only get three total kills down in this set, earning most of its points off Emmaus' errors. They had five at the service line, but that countered by its four aces as the Hornets win the first 25-14. Nazareth's front row would pick up the pressure in the second. Owen Hasker with three big blocks in the frame, part of five for him in the match. Tied at four, Emmaus would go on a five-point run. Grayson and Sweeney finding the back corner before Harris gets up with the solo block in the middle as the Hornets lead 10 to five. Cooper Hensler had over 20 assists, passing to Kale Kratzer, who had three kills in the set and five in the match. For the Blue Eagles, it was Jake Rice. He had 10 assists. Hasker with two kills in the frame as the team they only had 11 total falling here in the second 25 to 19. Emmaus on top to nothing, getting some production from their underclassman Ben Skeckel, the sophomore, had two blocks and five kills. Nazareth keeping a tighter leash in this one. Joey Colucci getting up on four blocks late in the set. Emmaus ahead by just two. Nazareth showcasing some great defense. Josh Harklerode keeps it in play, and the Blue Eagles get hype on the denial. Hornets too quick to cut the celebrations short, however. Colin Holden calling game. Emmaus pulls off the sweep over Nazareth. 25-22, the third set final from McCungy. I think that the best thing that we did as a team is just be consistent. Like, all of our players coming in off the bench are also hard workers. They all come to practice and work hard and are ready at all times to come off the bench. It was a little bit of a slow start, and that's a problem. Like, you can't come out after you win a large set, like by a, a median of a large amount of points, but it, they came in at the end of the game, pushed a little harder after coach kind of got in our grills about it, but I think definitely just the hard work paid off at the end. Like I practice ending games and just pushing hard no matter who's on the other side of the net. The biggest challenge I would say is just staying consistent uh, over all three sets, because at the end we definitely uh, let go a little bit. I think that we definitely could have just picked it up and beat them by more than we did. I think we hit very efficient and we pass very well. Uh, we also had very aggressive serves and uh, we just stayed consistent throughout the whole match.